What's up guys, Shoe Game is up here and hitting you with another vlog. I'm really excited about this one. And I'm going to go more into detail about it once I start showing you uh, what's going on. But uh, let's get right into it. You guys know I don't like to waste your time or anything. I just get straight to the point when I do my videos. So I'm changing up the whole setup, the wheel, the tire setup on my uh, car. You guys saw before my last uh, transformation video, I had, I was running 19 inch all black wheels. And I thought they looked great, but then when I started driving it, I was actually really disappointed with the uh, drive quality on it. So I did a lot of research, I, I did a lot of digging, um, and by the way, the cart is still on the stock height as well, so I haven't lowered it or anything yet. But uh, I found a couple different wheel setups that will fit uh, the RS3 in the 18 um, size instead of the 19s, which I was running before. And I found a seller in Idaho, and he was selling a set pretty much brand new. Uh, Michelin PS uh, 4S for the tires, uh, complete square setup. Um, instead of running a stagger, which I was running before, I was running 255s up front and then 235s in the back because the RS3 runs a staggered setup. So now I'm going to be running a completely square setup. I'm really excited for that, but let's, uh, let's get right into it. So they just came in. For the people that haven't shipped anything from Greyhound, highly, highly recommend it. I know people are like, what is Greyhound? So the Greyhound bus services um, that people use for, obviously, transportation, you can actually ship things as well. I got a quote originally from uh, UPS to ship four wheels and tires. It was about $300. Greyhound did it for 60 bucks. So crazy steal. It took about a week to get from Idaho to Chicago, which is where I live. Um... And I'm really impressed by the shipping. It came in quick. I didn't have any problems at all. I just picked it up. And yeah, so highly recommend if you want to do that. But next, I'm just going to take off all this, the you know, the packing and stuff like that. So you guys can see exactly what we're looking like before we get uh, the wheels and tires mounted. All right, guys. Finally got everything unboxed. And I can show you exactly what we are doing. Here is what we are going with. 18. And it's kind of dark outside right now. But it's actually called uh, Gun Metal is the name of the color. In person, it actually looks more black. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Hopefully my camera quality can pick it up. But in the camera quality, it kind of looks like more of a gray color. But in person, it looks actually black, which is kind of funny. It's not like a dark black how my old setup was, but it's more like a uh, more like a lighter shade of it. I'm also going to be changing up the center rings. are going to be the red ones that I had before, my other setup. And of course, wrapped with Michelin PS4S, best tire on the market. If you don't have it, get it, 100% recommend. I'm going with the 235-40. Um, like I said before, it is gonna be a square setup, so each tire size is gonna be the same. What's different between this and uh, your stock wheel setup like I was talking about before is on the RS3, it actually runs a 255 up front and a 235 in the back. People that aren't familiar with that, they're like, shouldn't the bigger size be in the back? But yeah, since the way that Audi does it, since it's front wheel drive biased, they actually put uh, the bigger tire up front instead of in the back, which is kind of funny. Lastly, I'm really excited for this one too. I went with uh, H&R for lowering springs. A lot of people are going to ask me why, what made me go with these instead of all the other brands. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys. The research that I did, I wanted a very aggressive look, and it seemed like the H&R... Um, Super Sports were the best as far as the actual drop goes by and for the ride quality they said it didn't uh, change it too much. We'll see. I don't know exactly. It's my first set of H&Rs um, for my Audis so I'm going to see how exactly that turns out. I plan on getting everything installed tomorrow so I'll be editing up the video and hopefully I can get this video posted by Thursday or Friday if I get my car back the same day. We'll see. Probably Friday at the latest but again it all, it all depends on how long it takes to change up these uh, lowering springs. They're saying it's five hours for what I'm seeing. I don't know if it's going to take that long but again we'll see what it's, uh, what it's looking like. I'm really excited to get this new setup on the car. I've heard really good things about 18 for the RS3 and I'm really excited to see how the uh, ride quality is going to be. But other than that, guys, yeah, we're going to get all this good stuff installed. And also, let me show you, too, as well, the drop so you can see what the drop looks like stock-wise. So these are the stock wheels on the car. These are what the RS3 comes like. And this, as you can see, that is stock height. So we still have a lot of room right there. It's funny, it's actually the back. It's a lot uh, less room than the front. But, yeah, so we're going to put that on. Got the H&Rs, and then of course, new wheel and tire setup. Really excited to see this one. All right guys, the new setup is finally complete. 
got the uh, the wheels on, uh, the tires on, uh, the lowering springs, everything's all set. Time to show you guys what we're working with. Ugh. Okay, so we went, like I said before, with the 18s. Ride quality already is 10 times better than the 19s, which comes on the RS3 uh, stock. Uh, Michelin uh, Super Sports or the Pilot Sports, whatever, they're uh, amazing. Lowering springs, honestly, in my opinion, I think the fitment is perfect. As you can tell up front, not much of a gap at all. And then let me show you in the rear as well. The rear has a little bit more gap than the front, but still, I think it's perfect. I wouldn't go any lower than this personally. Um, I think this is the right size and what it needs to look like. Car is a little dirty, apologize for that. All in all, I could not be more happy with the way that the setup looks. The ride quality, like I said before, I haven't even had the car back that long, and it's already 10 times better than what the 19s were riding like. Um, for the guys that are on the fence and, and they're running and they have an RS3, definitely recommend checking out the 18s. Um, I, I think it's great. I have no complaints as of right now, um, especially with the lowering springs. Like again, I did the H and R uh, lowering springs, and I think everything turned out perfect. Couldn't be, uh, couldn't be any more happy, honestly, about the, how the way the fitment looks and the way that it feels. Because sometimes the fitment looks great. Like I thought my last setup with the 19s, the all black, it looked great but I just didn't feel great. And now with the 18s, not only does it look good, but it also feels good. I mean, I, honestly, I couldn't be uh, couldn't be any happier, guys. Um, as always, this is just another video of just the with new tire and wheel setup on um, my RS3. Hopefully you guys are liking it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next for my, last, for my next vlog. And again, I apologize for being a little late on this one. You guys know I like to do typically every week or so. I know about two, three weeks since I posted the last one. Really busy uh, right now with work and everything going on. But uh, I'm going to get this video edited and hopefully I can get it up within the next day or two. Um, and again, for the people that are asking, I went with the uh, satin, uh, it's like the gun metal color, 18s with H&R lowering springs on a uh, staggered setup. Uh, with the Michelin uh, Pilot uh, Sport 4S's and they're all 235 like I said it is a and I apologize not a staggered setup with a squared setup so all the uh, the tire size are the exact same for the front and the rears are a 235-40 so before the RS3 had a uh, had a uh, staggered setup which was 255's up front and then 235's in the back but now I'm running a completely uh, square setup with 235's for the front and for the rear so it's absolutely perfect as always guys, thank you for the support. Uh, follow me on my car Instagram page, it's ZZRS3ZZ, all one word. I'll leave a link in my description as well so you guys can check that out. As always guys, please like and subscribe. I follow everyone back also as well on my car Instagram page. As long as you have a car, I will follow you back. So make sure to check me out and make sure to follow me on there guys. Um, thank you for the support as always. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys.